even these very sad sunglasses may not make me look like David Hasselhoff. And even clever camera angles cannot make this beach look like California. But I met one lookalike down at Port Solent, the UCI cinema, who really was, well, stunning. Who was she? Find out for yourselves. Sophie, it's a cold day. How the hell do you dress like this in this weather? Well, I don't normally dress like this. <laughs> normally it's like coat and big jeans on, but today's the exception. So you wish Pan Ransom would wear a fur coat in it? I week? wish, yes. <laughs> fur coat and big woolly boots and, yeah, that would be as for myself. Where would you get this sort of gear from? <laughs> do you want to know? Go on then. This isn't just a normal shop, and yeah. I actually, actually go to a bondage shop. All right. Like this. Yes. So they were like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But that was quite embarrassing. Where was that in London? No, it was in Plymouth. In Plymouth. In Plymouth and so. you're from Plymouth, aren't you? Yeah. I see. So do you enjoy this this it's posing work? Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's good fun. Who was it? Who was it suggested to you by, or do you think it yourself? Um, no, my sister sent photos in to a little like agent, so and he got back to me and so interested. So it started from there. All right. So how long have you been doing it then? About two or three months. And can you see it carrying on for? Uh, it depends how long she lasts, I think, to be honest. What do you so, think to her future? Well, now she's had a baby, she's got a few stretch marks there, I don't know. Well, you're, you're not keeping up short, with the... Short you're, shelf life, that's what I'm saying. You're not the match when you have a baby yourself, then? No, no, <laughs> not ready for that yet. No, well, luck's out then, <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> so, uh, who, who have you come down here with today? Actually, my father. Right. Yeah, he was going to drop me off, so... And he's supportive, is he? He is supportive, yeah. He does. So, what stuff did you do before you did this? Before I did this? Nothing, like, modelling or anything like that, but... I, Part-time nanny, I'm still doing that. All right. So I'm still a nanny. One extreme to the other, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mary Poppins to leather gear. So, yeah. Drawn on tattoo, it's very good. Did it's, you do that? It's, oh, it's a, no, it's a it's transfer. Just, oh, right. I see. So, yeah. My, well, my sister can help with that on. Ever, ever thought of having a real tattoo? I've thought about it, but I don't think I can stand the pain, to be honest. <laughs> no. I'm not a needles kind of girl. I think I'll agree with you. <laughs> now, of course, Pamela's married to Tommy Lee. Um, do you agree with her taste? Um, so first off look at him, I'd say no, but seeing him in an interview, he seems quite a sweet guy. So yeah. Sweet, I've not heard that said before. <laughs> I know, but no, he, seems quite, he seems to care about her, so... What more can you ask for? Not, not my type of guy. I go for the surfing types. Surfy? Yeah. <laughs> Long hair, beach bum. Sounds good to me. <laughs> well, thanks very much for your time. Okay. Do you think the event's been a success? Oh, yeah, I think so. Resounding. We've had a lot of radio coverage. It's been radio bulletins every day, uh, every hour since six this morning. We've had a lot of people inquiring about her, people being photographed with her. Um, yeah, it's been great, and she's been really, really good sport about it all. So how does this sort of event help the cinema itself? Well, it's all good PR for the cinema, you know. Um, everything that she does is connected with us and with the film, and it's nice to have a little bit of um, celebrity interest, even though she's a lookalike. <laughs> so... Anything that's publicly done to the cinema will draw people in and get our name out. Music! Don't call me babe.